I think it was a, a mix of awe for the for the guy, for Danny Dietz, and just such a profound level of respect for um, for the commitment that he gave to his to his you know brothers and to his country and to his family. Just that level of fearlessness, you know. I think one of the great motivators initially was just fear like oh my god these guys are so badass like you know there's a there's that impulse i think you know a lot of people have where you know they they see a huge challenge that scares them and that's what they're interested in you know and um you know i i didn't know going into it whether what would happen you know there was no there was no guarantee that i would get the part that became a challenge in itself the actual shooting of it would I, would I be able to measure up to the standards? And I think it's, it was the not knowing part that really pushed me further because I had to find out. It's a patriotic film about, the, uh, about courage under fire, you know, and about um, you know, the indomitable spirit that, you know, the, of the warrior. You know, it's about the warrior spirit. It's not, it's not a political movie. It's not, you know, it's not out to, it doesn't have an ax to grind. It's not really about that. It's much more personal. It's about who these guys are and what, what real uh, valor and courage is. The next level of training for me after the kind of the core physical training that happened in California was we came out here and we started, uh, I think it was a two and a half week training program with about five or six Navy SEALs, including Marcus Luttrell. And uh, it was, we were training with the M4 rifle mostly, uh, and it was, it was kind of learning how to fire that at the SWAT range and targets and moving in munition with, with real bullets too. It was pretty, it was an intense, intense learning curve and it was